Have you ever watched this show? Have I have I watched this show or this episode? Have you ever watched this show ever? <laughs> uh, no, I have never seen WandaVision before. I don't know how we pulled off last week. I was making it all up. <laughs> well, that, they put this thing up front just for people in your case to try to help. I, I have, I have in fact <laughs> I, watched the show. I am, I am. Oh, well, that's good because I have. I'm gonna have some questions. So she killed him. He's dead forever now. Yeah, no, he's gone. And then they <laughs> killed her right here. <laughs> no more Pietro, that was it. <laughs> Shucks. Deja vu, man. It does uh, seem to be a pattern with him. <laughs> Feels familiar. I wish I could say it was shocking. And she didn't say fuck. No, she's, she said fudge. That's she said she fudge. Said. These intros, I swear to God, they're getting longer and longer, man. These comic shits or whatever, they're just, like, eating time. I'm pretty sure it's the same length every time because it's the same piece of music every time. It's not like it's getting longer. No, they're, they're, they're doing it smart. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. You're probably right. <laughs> uh, um, whatever, they're Marvel. They have a way. <laughs> it, it seems fine to me. Well, now I'm just thinking they're digitally slowing it down like one little bit at a time. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's tight. Okay, okay. I've only seen this episode once, so. Right? Letting our fear and anger get the best of us. Intentionally expanding the borders of the false world we created. So, uh, this this episode, the uh, the sitcom theme is uh, somewhere between Modern Family and The Office. The, right. the style of. 2010s shows where where people talk to the camera like it's a reality show. It definitely feels uh, feels a lot like uh, Modern Family, especially. I don't know. It's both though. Yeah, there's. Uh, I mean, I mainly reference The Office because there's a little bit uh, in a scene later with Vision where he's he's making Jim Halpert face at the camera. Yeah, he looks at the camera and he does the thing. He does the thing. Yeah. The thing. As punishment for my reckless evening, I plan on taking a quarantine style vacation. Which would make it uh, even more funny if if Halpert is Reed Richard. It would. It would. <laughs> it's a little too meta, but they are uh, doing that too much with the show already. So it wouldn't be that surprising. When I say too much, I mean it's it's good. It's just enough. <laughs> this this costume. I'm glad to see it again. <laughs> <laughs> looks nice. I like it. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I like the idea of any superhero like waking up and they still have their costume on. <laughs> That's tight. Like Batman just crawls out of bed. Wolverine. Cyclops definitely. Straps everywhere. So uh, this episode is not in fact an hour long. No. I was, uh, I was deceived by the internet. Uh, it's uh <laughs> So I think somebody uh, hey, who's trying pissed. to figure out how long the episodes would be miscalculated the uh, they forgot to take into account the end credits of every episode or something like that and that's why they thought it would be three extra long episodes but yeah. I'm not ruling out the possibility that the next episode the next two episodes or at least the last one will be longer than usual I hope so. Man, this was really concerning. I forgot about this, but like, oh god, the intro. <laughs> yeah, here's this is this is Office City right here. Yeah, this is hella yeah. Office. I like the I know what you're doing one. <laughs> they snuck in the little <laughs> ransom note. <laughs> I love um, I love the creepy bits hidden throughout the show. That's important, dude. She needs creepy shit, and she was kind of not creepy for a little bit. Well, she was busy. Yeah. Being being snapped. What uh? What leads me to think that the the next two episodes might be longer or at least different in some way is that by the end of this episode, the sitcom thing is pretty much over. Make sure the team has everything they need. Like that that particular framing device has uh, run its course by the end of this episode. Yeah, we're at the point where the books have caught up with George R. R. Martin. We have to and there's a, put your yeah, own path they've, ahead. They've cut, up, they've cut up in decades to the present day. 
the plot has uh, gotten real, and this episode is the first one to have a credit scene. Oh yeah, the, I, the, the I stinger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, they deliberately waited until this episode because they wanted the to know that like, hey, sitcoms don't have end credit scenes, right? But the MCU does. Yeah, at least you're already in so sitcoms are over now, and you're full MCU. <laughs> That's right. I didn't think about that, but yo, that does tie in pretty, pretty well there. Which I also think could be like a good reason for them to uh, ditch the. Uh, 20 some minute format and go longer for the last for the finale man i mean i want to believe because sitcoms are usually half an hour long <laughs> 20 some minutes commercial so like if we're not doing that anymore we don't have to abide by the rules <laughs> I, it, it would be nice man his eyes are blue as fuck that's true man <laughs> she's <laughs> Yeah, I like her Hella not being into that. No, he doesn't want to be. Like, no, listen, man. That, that, that's a good, that was a good sequence. I I enjoyed the like the the awkward hey, sounds like he's flirting with her the way he said it. Like, yeah. we locked dead. eyes. There was an understanding. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't explain anything. <laughs> it doesn't. No, it doesn't. But he's an android. He's kind of behind everybody on uh, social cues and whatnot. Indeed. Such you were counting on me this stuff. to have audience. Right? <laughs> this stuff is good. Why well, I don't. I have. No. I like uh <laughs> I like <laughs> Wanda gradually not giving a shit. <laughs> yeah. She's uh I'm starting to believe everything <laughs> is meaningless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. the kids face these kids are good actors they are, yeah they're not bad that was a fun day of acting for them just react <laughs> she's saying the weird shit they literally inherited tough skin I don't know that that's how that works I don't think that's how that works but she doesn't know yet and I doubt that she's been researching it too hard <laughs> because of no. that shit <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that was good. One split end away she cut in her own bang. <laughs> hey, boys, why don't we give your mom some me time? It was really tight. Sure? Me and my wife watched <laughs> that shit. And the previous day, she was like, I'm thinking about cutting my own bangs. Mm -hmm. so and I was like, no, don't do it. <laughs> I'll be it's tight. Go with Agnes. Boy. I promise I won't fight. Mm. I actually did fight so, <laughs> I do like that. Yeah. Like, this episode's one of the funnier ones. There's no explanation for it. She just drops that information and then at the end. And it doesn't it. feel weird. It's like, yeah, that, that adds up. I get that. I get it. Say All right, gentlemen, let's keep it moving. You know what? If one of you two could take a quick look, I'd appreciate it. Yeah. So in the beginning, I was really bothered by the fact that like everything's like kind of like uh, switching and moving around and changing, yeah, like that. And mm -hmm. I was like, what if you like what about this shit you're putting in your body? Is it gonna keep changing? <laughs> like, I think the, the cereal yeah. is morphing into older cereals. <laughs> well, I mean, it could be morphing into I don't know what. It could be because the milk was changing, whatever the fuck it was before she put it in well, there. Well, I mean. Like, the plant became a different plant, but it was still a plant. The furnace became a different furnace, but it, it was did. still a furnace, you know what I mean? So, the milk... I think, like, they, they were changing eras, but they were the same objects. Turned into almond milk. <laughs> I think it actually did. No, I think it was almond milk at first, actually, and then it changed uh, to milk. I like, uh... I like the name of that codename Cataract because because the robot's name is the Vision. The cataract yeah. is like when you're blind. Yeah, <laughs> someone was really proud of that. So it was like, look, Cataract. Think about it. Secret agencies love their fucking code names. <laughs> fucking think about that shit. So that was where we finally find out what Hayward's really up to. Is he's trying to he's trying to rebuild Vision. 
but like have have his own vision, I guess. Like have him under control. So he's right. probably really salty that like Wanda has him. Of course. Like what? I wanted my own robot. How come yeah. she gets to have her own robot? Thank Fuck her. <laughs> he comes in here, takes my gun. Thank you so much. For come on. My mother would appreciate your loyalty. So the other thing is, this scene... Okay. Shouldn't we be getting introduced to that mystery aerospace engineer that Monica kept talking to? Isn't that yeah. where, where this was supposed to happen? Where's that guy? Yeah. I don't I don't see any Reed Richards or Blue Marvel in this scene. I just see some random I army lady. I, I, you know... I was a little flummoxed myself. Did you get your specs right? I mean, there's not even, like, they don't drop a dialogue of, like, so-and-so is, uh, late, but he's on his way, or whatever, you know? Is this chick her guy? Well, this chick's not a guy, well, so I know. I'm, I'm assuming not. But, I mean, I'm confused either way. Either way, I'm a little... I don't, I don't think, like... I know that we're we're in a decade where people are getting funny with the pronouns, but I still don't think you'd say, my guy, you're referring to, like... Lady. I mean, no, I would hope not. I believe that you were part of a team monitoring the Pronoun ambiguity is no one's friend. Well, you're in it. Fine, I'll go out with you, but I'm ordering more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, look, that mine is Trey's getting too heavy. Oh, your bad back. <laughs> okay. Whoa, okay. Whoa. Oh, uh, yeah. Speaking of that. How the fuck yeah. can he do that? You know. Uh, well, he's got a imitation version of uh -huh. the Mind Stone, I guess. Yeah. Definitely, so definitely has, not the Mind Stone. I mean, it's it's Wanda's hex, so it's Wanda's Mind Stone. So it does what the Mind Stone would do while it's inside the hex. It's uh. It's a little trippy, but I mean, you know, that's Wanda, her shit. It's weird. But yeah, I mean, I that, well, that was fucking... I, not, the show is not explaining it, so... No! I doubt they'll ever have a reason to. They'll even try. I mean, li there's literally never been a scene in an MCU thing that explained what Vision's powers are. <laughs> uh, no. I mean, I only know what they are based on what they are in the comics. Right. And from, like, obviously visual cues. Like, we've seen him, he can walk through walls. Yes. We've seen that he can shoot a laser out of the stone. We've seen that he's pretty strong and he can fly. And I figure that all that phasey stuff and the flight and whatever came from the Mind Stone. I mean, that was just an assumption. I, yeah, there is a scene. There is a scene in um, Civil War, at least one, where he gets extra heavy, which is like he can walk through stuff or get heavy. Like oh, he can yeah, make whenever... it less dense or yeah, more dense. That's, that's right. That's his main thing. Which, that's why he's called the Vision because his powers make him able to be like a ghost. Oh, that makes sense. And also, like Ultron always has some clever line when he builds him about how I'm this is my vision for the future. You know, and then yes, they turn that into a net. And also yeah, Thor that, was they, like, they I had a vision. That's... I was in a hot tub and I had a vision. <laughs> and the, his vision is at the center of everything. Feeling <laughs> depressed. This is tight. Like the world. Do you just uh... want to be left alone? You got you gotta love these depression pill commercials. I mean, in general, one of my favorite things are fake commercials. <laughs> They're usually fun. Side effects include feeling your feelings. Well, I, I mean, like depression pill commercials in the real world are silly. They but are. This one, especially because it's like symptoms may include more depression. <laughs> it's uh... a. <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> But yeah, the, so good. the pill was called Nexus. I noticed that, but I and don't like, know if there's any significance in, there. Is there? In in Marvel, there's a thing called like the Nexus of Realities or something like that, and it's where like it's it's like a place on Earth where there's a portal to other Earths in the multiverse. Oh, 
it because the And like usually, usually it like man thing it. guards it. No. Which I wonder if that has something to do with the vines we point. see in uh, Agnes's basement. Later. Yeah, maybe it does. Maybe Man Thing's fucking down You're there. Fine. Maybe Man Thing, dude. That would be tight. We're gonna see Man Thing. But yeah, like so. I guess like the Nexus has something to do with the hex. Maybe the Nexus okay. is in Westview. Maybe it is. That would be that would be and sick. I don't know what's going on down there. That's why uh, sure. everything's happening here, and this is how it going to tie into the multiverse shenanigans that lead into Doctor Strange too. I mean, it's we all know it's coming. We're just looking for it. <laughs> they probably didn't realize that. Just throw a billion red herrings at them because everybody's looking for stupid yeah, so, shit. I mean, that's 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 my theory for what the commercial means is that yeah. the reason why to pick Westview to make the hex is because Westview is the nexus of the multiverse. That's what I'm going with. That is a, a sound theory. I like her blocking her shit, Agnes, uh, Thank you. from the kid. Darcy's not here to give her stamp of I was assuming that's what's going on, since he can't read her thoughts. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the magic, she's, she's uh, able to put up psychic defenses, I, I presume. <laughs> I think that's the last time that we see them in the episode. The, the last time we see the kids. That oh, was actually. that was the last scene in this episode with the kids. And then, uh, and then she's gonna give them the man thing. I'm sure she's giving them to somebody. I really need to well, know who this dude is. Looking forward to finally figuring out whether it's Mister right or Nightmare in the in the future episodes. Yeah, that that would be nice. Because that's another thing. Like this episode, like. Does open up the mystery stuff, like start solving things, but not nearly as many things as I expected. Like we still don't know what to do with Pietro is. Right. We re we really only know the the one big reveal, which is uh, coming up. And it's not on. It's honestly not like a massive reveal. It was just like a confirmation of something that a lot of people figured was probably going to happen. Boy, this scene. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I kind of expected this episode would be when we figure out Pietro's deal, but instead he's like almost not in it at all. He is. What happened to sailing right through? The density is matching her. So try so harder. To figure out what turning the hex red means. Yeah. Because when she made it all red and angry, when she walked out and turned all the guns on Hayward, it was just like, okay, so it's it's red now. What is that about? It means keep What's out. What's the significance of it being red? Well, now we know it's like you, harder to walk into it. <laughs> mm, it is harder to walk into it. She she made it angry. <laughs> For some, like, but, well, sort of. I don't know. It's weird because she just like runs through that shit in a second. Well. She has developing powers. <laughs> that was good. I do. I do enjoy the the halfway pickup truck. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. At this point, you've just seen all this weird shit. You've never seen this shit before. How do you arrive at this conclusion? <laughs> <laughs> this is this is this is the strat. This is this is how this happens. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, ooh. you know what? Sometimes being a hero is about <laughs> just going with your gut. <laughs> well, boy, she did that, and she must be a massive hero, <laughs> just unparalleled. I do, I do like the uh, Captain Marvel dialogue that they put into this scene. Yeah, I, uh, I caught that. So, you know, it's, it's all, it's all significant and stuff. Your mom's lucky. When they were handing out kids, they gave her the toughest one. Although, I'm not sure what the significance is. Not of that. I'm just uh, like all the different versions there. Good. Like that, uh, she has a lot of willpower, and that like she she had a 
a lot of encouragement. Be a strong person. Okay. Growing up. Yeah. That led led her to the point where she she uh, was able to force her way through the barrier. Yeah, she. Uh... And now she has uh, from from being in and out in and out of the hex too many times. Now she's photon. <laughs> I suppose. She can see the entire electromagnetic spectrum. Is what we just saw there. That uh feels like it would be distracting. Well, at least you can turn it on and off. Apparently, yeah, that's a... Yes. But it's not that simple. You asked her to do it. Why would I have done that? To save the universe? It's, inter it's interesting that they chose to go with just make her eyes blue instead of, say, making her whole eye glowing white, like Until you might. The bad guy yeah. And Usually do with that kind of superpower. To set up the context. I came back and died again. And she had to watch. Maybe they thought that was a bit much. I wouldn't think it. Another red light? I mean, I don't know. The, they definitely pick up on the... Okay, there's a significant thing that's going on here, because her eyes look fucking really weird. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's... I'm not saying it's not, like, getting the job done. <laughs> yeah. Because it is. Yeah. It's Marvel, man. If, uh, there's a scientific thing that should kill you, it's probably going to give you powers. <laughs> there's the Stop gym that. look. Stop it, right? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is like Truman Show shit. Yeah, great. Just take your time, fellas. So if I understand correctly, my original code dates back to an AI called Jarvis. But my corporal form was born of Ultron's plan for global genocide. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> what am I now? Honestly, I'm a STEM type of lady, so I thought she just flipped a switch on your head and brought you back to life, but what I don't get is why you can't leave the heck. Yeah, I think I think the vibe getting pretty strongly here is that Vision is not going to survive this the end of the series. I don't think I don't think he's really back to life. Yeah. Well, at least not in like the well, way of it's just Vision being back to life. If there's something he is like I think I think his the reason he doesn't have any memories is because he his personality is like as much as much a construct of Wanda creating Wanda? this hex reality as, as all the other Wanda, fake shit Wanda, in it. Yeah. Wanda, how did you get so like when when she takes the hex down, he'll go back to being like a, a gray body with a hole in his forehead. Blue shit. Blue. Red versus Super blue. The only lies I've told are the ones you put in my mouth. Careful. So, uh, when we were we were discussing this episode on the, on the Discord, you pointed out that you thought Monica should have stopped to to change her shirt. I did. So that the sword logo would not be right there in Wanda's face, making her upset. <laughs> yes. Uh, in general, I think there's probably a better way she could have gone about a lot of the shit she did in this episode. I I kind of I kind of feel like the confrontation was uh, going to go the same way either way. At this point, you're probably right. I mean, because Wanda's fully really aware that Monica's from Sword. Like she figured that out when she kicked her out of the hex the first time. And that is definitely true. I can't undo it. I I can't control this pain anymore and I don't think I want to because it's my truth God, I hate people's truths yeah I I don't like the phrase mind truth yeah truth is not subjective you, you would uh, one would assume but you know t try telling that to Twitter yeah that path <laughs> leads to uh, alternate facts or whatever yeah. Mm. 
You know, let's talk about something else. Mm -hmm, I like mm -hmm. I like how the the pattern on Monica's shirt looks like the photon costume. It does. But I also thought it looked Fantastic Four y. Yeah, it's there, there's several superheroes who have like the, the Star Trek next generation shoulders. You're right, yeah. Oh, come on. Like, it has nothing to do with Marvel, but I could be like Green Lantern John Stewart, Booster Gold. You right. Know? It's, uh... Lots of people have that design. To me, it feels like it happened to someone else. I like how he's like scratching her. his metal <laughs> neck. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I like this bit. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck is going on? I'm doing shit. This is absurd. Actual lapel mic. <laughs> so, what do, what do they experience when they go from? Sitting in the interview to sitting in the truck, like what's the yeah? What's that like from their point of view? Yeah. <laughs> like a cup of tea, hon. Okay. Sit down. Right back with that. And who's shooting? That's, but I mean, uh, well, we we actually do find out who's behind the camera. We do, which is nice. <laughs> but it doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't make any kind of sense whatsoever. Um. That's like one of the things that bugged me the most about this uh, format of sitcoms, because mm. I was always like, "Who the fuck?" Well, is it's shooting like like this? in the office, there is an actual like it's there not is. a fourth wall thing. Like yeah. they're literally it's part of the plot that they're always being filmed by a documentary crew. Where like yeah. I don't know that the documentary ever comes out. <laughs> But that's like, they, yeah, that was a weird they plot. They that season. once in a while in the show that they really are being filmed by like a crew, which is some, no, yeah, which is good, like PBS thing or something. Because like The Office is set in fucking Scranton, Pennsylvania, yes, and it's just like a dinky company that sells paper. <laughs> uh, but there's lots of shows that adapted the format. They're just like fuck it, it doesn't matter. We don't need to address who's shooting this shit. You know, like like Modern Family. It's just there's no way that's. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's, hey, a, that's thing. a worth a walk. Uh, Parks and Rec does it too. Yeah, it's a thing. So we uh, we skip we uh, we're talking over it, but there was <laughs> I wanted to mention yeah. when she was watching, like when she noticed the kids show on the TV. I was like, I wonder if they made that show up, and those creepy monsters are supposed to be like a like a hint of something. But no, apparently that's a real show. Is it's it a real a show? Yule Gabba Gabba. Man. I'm glad you're here because I never would have even. By the way, Disney doesn't own. <laughs> so, so they like they got the rights to put on a children's show when they own like a million children shows they could have used it instead. Well, then just go, dude. Listen, like it's really important we get Yo Gabba Gabba specifically. It's an important part of the narrative of the, this thing we're building here. All right. All right. Here's well, some... that so that kind of full skulls. Here's some money. And there's a glowing magic spell book. I believe and that's uh, the Darkhold, which is a a, a particular magic book book for Marvel Comics. It is, and I believe the Darkhold, the spells in it are specifically spells about uh, alternate realities and opening portals. Well, that sounds slightly relevant. <laughs> All right, they're gonna have some fun now. They're enjoying themselves. Yeah, yeah, this is this is the best part of the episode. <laughs> this fucking song, man. <laughs> this monster's shit. Which is saying this this show has a lot of good songs in it. It's got a lot of good like intro, all these intro shits, but the this I think, one I think this is the best one. This one is there really has been other good theme songs. <laughs> so <laughs> So I I wonder what the significance of her powers looking basically just like Wanda's but purple is. Um, do you think there is one? Well, I mean, because because Wanda's shit is red. And it that's is. Why she's called the Scarlet Witch. So and... why is that? Like, does the purple mean? It? Do the colors mean <laughs> anything? <laughs> All right. Well done, uh, yeah, GGs, man. That was good. I knew she killed that fucking dog. I mean, 
There's no way. Oh, the dog ate the poison flowers. I'm uh -huh. sorry. No, you fucking killed uh -huh. the dog. That's yeah. not obvious. Well done. <laughs> uh. But no, what's interesting, like, it's... Doctor Strange is the only thing that's really gone in on Marvel's versions of sorcery and whatnot, and their stuff, like, decidedly and uh, intentionally does not look like this stuff. The smoky, yeah, yeah. vapor, yeah, magic-y whatnot. Wanda, Wanda doesn't know that she's doing magic. She yes. just thinks she got some kind of psychic powers from the mind stuff. And, and that's kind of the deal. I mean, they say, they almost say as much in Doctor Strange, like, they're not, they're, they're more like tools they're using and shit to make sorcery type whatnot. They're not, so yeah, there is like a, 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 they, they have somehow thinking certain thoughts and making certain shapes with your hands allows you to draw energy from other dimensions. And that's what magic is. Yes. But this is not that. And and Wanda specifically... We talked about this last episode, that Wanda specifically does chaos energy. She does. And I'm just, I'm just pointing out that, like, the special effect for um, Agatha's powers looks like the same as Wanda's, but a different color. And we also saw, like, I want to talk about the fact that we saw that she's the one who brought Pietro to town. That there was, like, the purple smoke coming off of him yeah. when he arrived at the front door. So, uh, it raises the question of, like, was she just mind-controlling him and bringing him to town, or... <laughs> like, what... <laughs> I don't know what he's doing there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so that's, that was that was Pietro's only appearance in the entire episode in the uh, in the present day, anyway. And it definitely didn't do anything to help us as far I, as that I plot where he's goes. Been all day because, like, at yeah. the beginning of the episode, Wanda tells the kids that that man is not your uncle. She does, and they're like, "Then who is he?" And she just like doesn't answer the question. <laughs> Uh, what, did she kick him out of the house? Where has he been? <laughs> maybe she knocked him out. Well, I mean, she, she, I mean, she did, like, fucking fucked him up, but, like... Okay, so he's he's just been lying in a in a haystack in town square all night? I would assume Agnes, or went and got him. Agatha? What is her fucking name? Well, her real name is Agatha Harkness. Agatha, that's right. Okay, we're back to truths. But no, yeah, there there was a lot of stuff down there in her chalice dungeon that we uh, didn't talk about. Was the purple smoky magic shit coming off the book, too? Uh, the book was glowing like orange. Okay. But yeah, like, there there was all kinds of, like, purple glowing uh, cracks on these vines down in her, like, dank, creepy basement. There was. Um, which, which again, could have something to do with the Nexus and the man thing, who is basically just Swamp Thing, but Marvel. He is. Uh, which... I, th I think the main difference between Swamp Thing and Man Thing is that Man Thing doesn't really talk. And he has, he has a power that, like, uh, anything that knows fear burns at the Man Thing's touch. Oh, which shit. basically means like if he puts his hand on you, it burns. <laughs> I mean, well, okay, that's effective. It's it's funny though. I, I feel like being a swamp monster is enough already, but yeah, no. let's melt people too. I guess if we're doing the horror movie thing. Yeah, dude, come on, it's never enough. Um, it would be funny if he does pop up because presumably he did. He was a champion on well, Sakaar at some point. In the comics, Man Thing. And the Nexus also are involved with the uh, the Time Variance Authority, which is the Time Cops that are in the Loki show coming oh. out later this year. Uh, was it is that Owen Wilson or Luke Wilson? That's the oh, Owen Wilson thing. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a. Uh... <laughs> It's it's interesting casting. That's gonna be fun. Really, that's really, wow. That's wow. <laughs> <laughs> he 
He's looking old. Did you, did you focus on this fucking red monster? I it's it's gotta be fucking Mephisto, man. There's gotta I mean, be Mephisto in this show. One would assume, but the, okay, so oh, so so there's this close up of this flaw house fly right here. And uh First of all, you wouldn't think there would be any insects in the hex because there are no bugs on TV sitcoms. <laughs> uh -huh. no, they, they, they focus in real tight on that fly, and it's uh, interesting to note that in the comics, in Mephisto's first ever appearance, he was disguised as a fly. Oh, shit. I mean, clearly, Agatha has... I, I mean, in her I, house, like a, a, a fucking doorway to outside of sit, outside sitcom shit, because we turn into a pretty suspense horror shit here. Not even really I mean, subtle. So Look at this shit. Ag Agatha is like classic, you know, a witch. Yes. You know, like literally in her backstory in the comics, she's been alive since the Salem witch trial. And the, and the thing about like a classical mythology of witches is that they are brides of Satan the way a nun is a bride of Christ. Yes. They're like they're the evil version of a nun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, look at this place. I mean, this this is witchy as hell. Yeah, this is uh, if you if, it doesn't get much more witchy than this shit. This this is. This is out of a witch catalog. I like, I like how the pillars look exactly like the temple from MK3. Like, I can't... Does it? <laughs> not the fucking Mortal Kombat church. Uh, this book. Yes, this was, is... Was this book in any of Doctor Strange, or no? So, um, there was a scene where Doctor Strange, like, goes... To the to the library where they keep all the spell books, and there's like the forbidden book section. Yes, that Wong let won't let him read from. Right, there was a book missing from the rack. Oh, okay, and I've I've heard people on the internet say that it was probably supposed to be the Darkhold, hmm. which is this book. Okay, so the other thing uh, is that the Darkhold has already appeared on. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but it didn't look like this. And the way it was used in that show doesn't quite make it possible for it to appear here. Uh -huh. So this is our first real confirmation in, like, our first real thing in the MCU that concretely kicks Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. out of canon. Concretely. Because there's been yeah. like inconsistencies here and there, and they've I feel like they've said as much. Oh, yeah. well, about they've the show's always been like, there's never been any on screen evidence one way or the other, you know? Like, they've always just kind of played it like they've been nice to the TV division, where they're like, we're not going to say you don't count. Well, yeah. I mean, they, they had <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson on there. Like, Nick Fury really was on there. really says that Jeff Loeb's Marvel TV did not count. Um, and it's probably the same thing, the, or the same way they're going to handle any of the Netflix stuff that they want to use. Well, when I mean, there is... Charlie Cox has apparently, like, been on set and filmed stuff yeah. for Spider-Man 3. Right. Like, Matt Murdock is, the rumor has it, going to be Peter Parker's defense attorney in the, like, the whole being accused of killing Mysterio. Right. Now, they could they could just use the actors, because people really like those actors, but, like, somehow communicate to fans that the events of the show didn't quite happen. Yeah, I, I mean, I assume they would just cherry-pick from stuff on the Netflix Yeah, cherry-pick, basically. Yes. Like, I, I, would, I would definitely, I would keep uh, Bernthal... And Cox and uh, D'Onofrio. Uh, yeah, yeah. And maybe definitely. maybe Jessica Jones check. But I would definitely kick out uh, the Luke Cage and Iron Fist stuff. That 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 stuff needs a do over. Uh, yeah, and I wouldn't even mind. I wouldn't mind keeping the actors, but yeah, there's that stuff could be well, done. Well, I mean, I I would not keep the Iron Fist 
He's <laughs> uh, he's definitely the one that's like, okay, if there's a weak link in this team, mm, sorry, man. Yeah. Because, uh, like, that's the thing. Like, I don't have actually any problem with the events of the Luke Cage show. But if I was going to give the, any of those shows a do-over, it would be to combine Luke Cage and Iron Fist into Heroes for Hire. Yeah, I mean... That seems like... Why Why wouldn't that be the way that that would go? Yeah. But it wasn't. <laughs> also, like, I, the Iron Fist show did some really, like, damaging things to Iron Fist lore. Yeah, it did. Like, right in the first season, they kill everybody in the Magic City with the dragon. <laughs> And they never go there. Like, they just come up with a reason to never have the Magic City because they couldn't afford it in is the that, budget. Is that literally what it was? They couldn't go to Kung Lung because of that shit? Yeah. Man. They just... I mean... <laughs> Netflix couldn't afford a dragon. There's, There is one scene. There's a scene... It's supposed to be in Kunlun, but it's outside the dragon's cave, so really all they needed was a set of, like, a mountain. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, they, um, showed, they showed him fighting the other dude, didn't they? Yeah, it's like, there there were some training scenes, like, inside a martial arts temple of him training with uh, his rival Davo. Yeah. And there's a scene of the two of them outside the cave talking before he goes in to fight the dragon. But uh, when he walks in the cave, you never see the dragon, and you never see the fight. That's where the flashback ends, him walking in the door, because budget. It's, uh, I mean, yeah, it is, it, it does feel budget. It also feels like they might have been just a little afraid of him. Uh, but, uh afraid of, like, how far do we want to go? Kind of like a Thor situation in yeah, Phase yeah, 1 of Marvel. Like the Netflix shows were, like, real big on keeping it, like, gritty and in the streets and yeah. nobody ever wears their fucking costumes. Quote, grounded. Trying to be realistic. Yeah. And Danny's the so one yeah, that's like... Mm. Be afraid of magic kung fu monk city with the dragon. If, yeah. I, Danny's definitely the, the one that doesn't fit that well. If you're rebooting Iron Fist is to do the the backstory of Iron Fist. Yeah, if you're gonna do it, do it. <laughs> If you don't want to do D Iron Fist, okay, don't do it. But if you're going to do it, then do it. Also, maybe, like, don't tie Iron Fist into the hand. Because in the comics, Iron Fist has nothing to do with the hand. I do like the hand. I like to see the hand he again. He's not the ancient enemy of the hand ninjas. But no, he's not. He is, in fact, only one of, like, there's, like, seven cities that all have their own magic yeah. kung fu guy. And it's basically like every every so often there's a Mortal Kombat tournament where all the champions of the different cities fight. And uh, in the show, they nuked that mythology by just uh, by taking some of the other cities' champions and just making them assassins who work for the Hand. Yeah. Uh, not as uh, not 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 as exciting, not as hype. No, no, it's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> uh, I mean, don't... It feels like you should go without saying, don't half-ass anything. If you're going to do it, whole-ass it. No, I think I think you can pretty much keep the, the stuff that happened in Daredevil. And um, you can keep Jessica Jones. But the Defenders crossover... <laughs> Let's just remove that from canon. You don't yet. You, you know, no Sigourney let's Weaver. Do Luke and Danny. <sighs> I mean, come on. I'm, I'm I'm sorry, Sigourney Weaver. I love you, but Are not you? in that. <laughs> not as mm. not as a a boardroom person who was supposed to be the leader of a ninja clan, but that's the other thing. Except <sighs> for except for in one season of Daredevil, the hand were never ninjas. <laughs> What the fuck? I don't know what they... I, 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 but you know what's really good? D'Onofrio and F as Fisk. That yeah, shit, no, this, I, you know. D'Onofrio was great. D'Onofrio was fucking so, spot on. Cherry pick as fuck. 
Marvel. Please. Well, I, sh I shouldn't say spot on. Because, no, he wasn't spot uh, on. Their, their approach to his personality, where he's like basically a, a guy with autism, is not how Kingpin acts in the comics. No, it's not. But for the sh like, it worked. It like, I don't have a problem with it. It did. It, it, it totally worked. It was interesting. It's like, hey, we can follow I mean, this he, dude around. He definitely looked like Kingpin, and he had the like the the physicality of the Kingpin. Hey, dude, he fucking smashed that dude's head off in the door. That shit was tight. Oh man, that was that was a great scene. But that was that. That's that's what you want. That's what you want from your Fisk. Yeah. It's like, oh, they're gonna make him this weird, awkward dude. Fuck, Jesus, no. Okay, at least both. I I want to I want to know how you train a bunny rabbit so well because. That it, that it just sits there in a person's lap. Because bunnies are usually extraordinarily skittish. Well, you see, in like, continuity... Not because of their prey instincts, they're not really, like, super friendly. I'm they're, not a, they're always, like, I'm not a of, fan of rabbits. It's not I, my thing. I like rabbits. I like... Okay. This is fine. You can have all my rabbits. Well, ra I've never had a pet rabbit. I dated a girl with a pet rabbit. They're, uh -huh. they're a bitch to clean up after. Yeah. Not, this is not my thing. That rabbit right there <laughs> is definitely a person. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I don't know. I, I just ra Rabbits are... They're cute. Are they? But they're higher maintenance than you think. Oh, no. I, yeah, yeah, I, I, think, I, 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 I think rabbits are probably the cutest animal. Like The cutest? If I, if I was ranking oh, shit. pets, it would probably go rabbits and cats, then certain breeds of dog, mm. and then everything else. <laughs> I'm not good at cute. I don't think I see cute quite right. I talk about this <laughs> okay. with my wife a lot. I don't know if I speak cute. I don't really understand what makes things cute or not. Well, you, uh, it's I weird because I am I am the most cynical, nihilistic <laughs> man in the world. Well, I am still capable of like recognizing the adorable. <laughs> you know, you haven't met me yet, motherfucker. It's weird. <laughs> Uh, what is that rabbit's name? I forgot the name. Uh, Mr. Scratchy. Scratchy, okay. Yeah, Scratchy, like like old Scratch, the devil. <laughs> uh, is that the correlation? Is that literally a reference from something? From the comics? Or, or are you just talking I'm shit? Not, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying it's a reference, and I'm also not saying it's not a reference. <laughs> just like them? That's what they've done this whole fucking series. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's like... Look, there are so many goddamn references to the devil in this show. Yeah, there are. <laughs> there's there's references to lots of shit in like, this show. Like, I, even if Mephisto doesn't show up, they've got to drop a line that Agatha works for Mephisto. Come on. <laughs> so, she's drawing power from someone, right? It's clearly the devil. <laughs> is, is it? You is, is, think that's what's going on down there? That's that's what witches do. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, it would it is, except for Scarlet Witch. Well, because she, she draws hers from fucking from from the the, the chaos dimension, which is uh, ruled by a being that's not the devil but just as evil, called Cathon. Uh, yeah, that's an evil guy's name. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you know, I'm not even, I'm not even sure, like, everybody's expecting, uh, Nightmare to be involved, because, yeah. because Scott Derrickson wanted him to be the villain of Doctor Strange 2, but then Scott Derrickson left, and now we have Sam Raimi, and I'm not so sure that means Nightmare will still be in the thing. Mm. I think, you know, it's not impossible that we could see something else like Shumagora, no, yeah. I mean, if you're going to make a list of, of, of famous Doctor Strange villains, He's I would say that thanks to the Marvel games, Marvel vs. Capcom, Shuma Gorath is definitely very, very high on the list. Also, he's, he's like a squid. He's a one-eyed squid monster that's visually... Pretty spectacular compared to Nightmare, who's just like a pale man with tall hair. <laughs> Was there a not? This still is. Look, okay. I... It's just me. 
it's just my brain. I'm I, I just do this and be like, listen, can we have a conversation before we jump to this? Maybe you know. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, like I, I don't, I don't know. know with this I don't know. I don't. I, I I don't know why she was like she ran. She runs in here like there's a timer. Okay. Uh, because because she's really determined. No, I got I got because that. I got that. To give up. <laughs> I got that determination, and I'm I'm totally cool with all that. But like refusing to give because up they were doesn't out mean kids, Django. Oh, Your mom God. got the toughest one. <laughs> right. Listen, I mean, it's cool. It's fine. But that doesn't mean that, you know, maybe you could stop and think for a second. Like, maybe there's a different way to come at this. Because like I said, it's not a time limit. She runs in there like there's a time limit. There's like two seconds on this clock. I got to get the fuck in there right now. Like, hang on. Well, uh, speaking of time limits, Uh uh, last episode that we recorded, I had raised the question of how long do you think the hex has been up? Uh Uh-huh. We actually got an answer this episode. It's been like a week. A week. Okay. Yeah, because uh, Darcy tells Vision, I've, I've been watching the show all week. And this being episode seven, one could assume it's like an episode per day, maybe? Yeah, I, I actually... Um, I actually think it was a bit in a previous episode, like the one where they showed the flashback to Wanda uh, breaking into the sword facility. Yeah. And taking Vision torn apart body. I think they mention in that episode that Wanda did it nine days ago. Okay. Now I don't know how many days were in between her doing that and her putting up the hex. But hmm. nine days is about in the ballpark of a week, you know, seven to nine. This is rounding. Maybe that's like nine days before we started like episode one here when Monica shows up and they start working on whatever, maybe. Well, I think it, it was, it was nine days ago when, when Hayward showed, uh, Monica. Okay. The well then that was just camera. a couple episodes ago then. Yeah, that was, so it's been like, I don't know, like 11 days. I don't remember how many episodes ago that was. But yeah, it's it's been about a week that the hex has been up, apparently. So that 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 answers the question of exactly how long have the people in this town been subjected to the psychic torture that Wanda is putting them through? <laughs> like eleven? What? How many days did you say? It is. It has been. Somewhere between a week and nine, I think, was the idea. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, well, they're fine. They're going to be fine. They're going to be fine. They're going to be yes, fine. I'm, I'm sure that Maybe. Being, being forced to pretend you're someone else. Well, I mean, uh, I don't know. Being forced and, to... And, and live through sitcoms. Being forced to stand out there the as an NPC. <laughs> that might not be good for fucking seven to nine days standing in a place. No, I, 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 I'm just saying. I think. I think the whole town is going to need some therapy. Well, yeah, they're going. Yeah, they're going to need something. But, it's all an unfortunate training but, exercise. Fair, to be fair, it wasn't Wanda. It was, it Agatha, was Agatha all, all along. along. It was. <laughs> it was definitely Agatha. So definitely Agatha. Uh, all along. <laughs> is that necessary? Okay. Is that a trustworthy bit of, uh, you know, speaker telling a story there? I feel like you, you it's think, not. You think the, Agatha's theme song is an unreliable narrator? Is that yes, what you're suggesting? That's, <laughs> that is precisely what I'm suggesting. Agatha's theme song sequence that she clearly created herself. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And there's, that there's... she's smugly grinning and <laughs> winking at the camera through. There's uh... you, think, you think it might be lying to us. <laughs> I think she might have uh, some other reasons for maybe wanting to put herself up there like that. Maybe she's like, mm, yeah, I don't, I, yeah, I don't think, I don't think so. I think she had ulterior motives. To stretch, I know. Well, I, you know, the theme song doesn't give us her motives at all, so. Well, yeah. 
I mean, I still kind of assume that sh- her motive is... Well, no, I did assume it, that she was just fucking piggybacking off of Wanda and, like, feeding off of her magic power to do shit or whatever, but... Wait, I, I she's got her own episode now. episode we're gonna finally get a flashback to, to how, how and why the Hex went up in the first place. Um, yeah, that also seems like... Agatha all along type shit. Just because of fucking Scarlet Witch Wanda here being like, I don't know how it started or whatever. Um, but it raises a lot of questions. Did Agatha like reel her in to Westview here s- somehow? Um, and what exactly is she using Wanda for? Because she's definitely using her. Yeah, yeah. Um... Like I said, I think I think we will finally get those answers next episode, and then the last episode will be the big like. I don't want to necessarily use the word fight because yeah, there's not a lot of uh, like w- Wanda isn't really a combat character. No, she, no, she's not. <laughs> but there will be some kind of action and climax that resolves the situation. Uh, I think I think. I think episode eight is the finally explaining things, and episode nine is the solving the plot. Hmm. And I hope one or both of those episodes are longer than normal. That we're no longer stuck to it has to be twenty two minutes because it's a TV show. You know, I've been burned before. I hope that's the case. <laughs> uh. I don't know, dude. The division situation is going to be tough. Because they don't... They're not going to want to... They don't want to lose vision. They're not going to want to lose vision, obviously, like, permanently or anything like that. So... I... I I, I agree that I don't think this guy right here is going to be able to, like, exist after the show. This version of vision that we're with right now. Yeah, I mean, well, as a robot, he can always be rebuilt. He can. Reassembled. Uh, um, it just, but it also just fucking depends on what the hell is going on in that dungeon down there, dude. Like, yeah, yeah. I, well, I mean, where are know, the kids? Yeah, where are the kids? Is that a kid right there? Maybe that's a kid. <laughs> That kid right there is Speed. I, uh... I presume it's gonna have something to do with the the Yo Magic commercial being about, like, feeding off magic. That, like, maybe Mephisto wants to drain them of their... their, uh, glowy juices. (laughs) One would, uh... assume, considering the, uh, the running theme of that show... For the children, like it's been all through this thing. Mm. Um, whether or not, like, is that the angle? Fucking Agatha's been fucking with all these kids to give to for feed Mephisto or whatever she's got down here, whatever she's got well, going on. I, I think it's specifically Wanda's kids. It's just Wanda's, Wanda's kids? kids. Okay, were created by magic. They they weren't exactly made the old fashioned way, right? Uh huh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to see where the plot might go from this weird chalice dungeon down here. Um, well, the other thing is that at the end of the sequence, uh, you know, Agatha reveals herself, and then she like, it looks like. Puts Wanda under mind control. Yeah. So she's probably gonna have like she's probably gonna force Wanda to fight Monica or Vision next episode or in the end or something. Like and then they'll have to like break her out of that spell. Yeah, see, this, yeah, this the, purple stuff, like... Universal sign for mind control. Your eyes change colors. You know what's... It, it looks... 
other than being purple, it looks just like when Wanda would uh, give uh, the Avengers those like bad dreams does, in yeah. Age of Ultron. Yeah. Uh... So. You know what? Maybe what Agatha did is make Wanda see this sequence. <laughs> oh God! What a nightmare! Maybe this this whole theme song bit is actually playing out in Wanda's head right now. On the loop, and boy, I'm <laughs> I like her look here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she has a good look. Uh, I, I love all of all of uh, what's her name, Catherine Hahn. Is yeah. That her? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All of her facial expressions are great. <laughs> yeah, she's a pro. She's a uh, all the eat, time eating this shit up. <laughs> you know, you know. Another thing I found out about this actress uh, uh -huh. just a couple days ago, I didn't know this, is she was the voice of the female Doc Ock in, in Into the Spider Verse. How did you not know that? I I don't know. I just did not know that. <laughs> I thought that was common knowledge. What was her name? Octavia, something like that. I think so. Mm-hmm. She was cool. Yeah, this chick's a pro. Um, she, she's a good actress. I she, like. I, <laughs> you like her? It, it's hard to say like who's the best in the show because there's been a lot of great performances. Yeah, like, I love Batman and pretty much everything he's in, and obviously like Elizabeth Olsen is pulling a lot of weight because she's the main character. She is. Was, like always on her. She's good. Child she actors suck. are hard to get, and the, the ones yeah. playing Billy and Tommy, they don't have a lot of screen time, but they're always, you know, pretty funny in their scenes. I stuff. like that that one kid. One of them, I forgot his name. He was in a uh, that Netflix show. Fuck. Uh, that could be a lot of things. Damn it! What's it called? Come on, man. The, uh, the Haunting of Hill House. Haunting of Hill House. That's what it was. Okay, the, I the, series. It's really good. It's like at the billionth one. There's tons of Haunting of Hill Houses. That one in the early 2000s also had fucking Luke Wilson. Owen Wilson. It had WoW in it. Okay. <laughs> uh, it, 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 <laughs> so many versions of that shit. I, was, I don't know why it popped into my head. But you yeah, know, it's good. It, they did that like a couple years ago on Netflix. It's a mini series. It's really good though. But he's in it. He plays one of the kids. Okay. Um, but yeah, the kids do a good job. She's okay. Monica's all right. Yeah, I, I like I like her. She, she's all right. I don't dislike her. She's all right. She's got a. She's got enough charisma to pull off. Like I wouldn't, re I wouldn't have any problem with seeing her be in more stuff, which is good because when you give a person powers, it's because you're planning on putting them in more stuff. You would think, yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you think Quicksilver is just fucking Ralph? I do not think Quicksilver is Ralph. No? I I think, like, more and more I'm beginning to think because, like, the Nexus and the Darkhold are both multiverse-related. I'm beginning to think he really is Fox Quicksilver. Wait, what? Why? Well, because it, it, it seems like if you're gonna set up the multiverse, then maybe you should pull a character from another Earth in the multiverse. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't think he'll stick around. I think he'll go home. Hmm. I just think he might literally be Fox Quicksilver. <laughs> also, like the the purple uh, mist coming off him implies to me that. Uh, Agatha had to put him under mind control to make yes. him think he is the right Pietro and show up in town. Well, right, yeah. That's uh, that's definitely a thing. But I mean, that could also go for him being anyone else. Like, she had to put him under fucking spell well, shit they, to have like, the memories. I, I keep thinking back to, like, that scene at the uh, last episode at, in the town square of the Halloween celebration. When uh, he and Wanda were talking, and she has that brief moment where she looks at him and sees him, a zombie full of bullet holes, and freaks out. And he's like, are you okay? And she's like, I'm fine, I'm fine. And he's like, uh-huh. Like, I, that was, he had, like, genuine concern on his face. He did? Yeah, that's, that's okay. what it looked like to me. Right. And also, like, he doesn't look, like, super malicious here no. in the... In the 
credits thing or wh- where he like he says Snooper's gonna snoop like when he catches Monica. Yeah. He doesn't look like he's there to like get her. <laughs> like he's just kind of being nosy. I I've, like I don't think he's under mind control all the time. I feel like I don't I don't think he's evil a... necessarily. I feel like he's a stooge. He's just a random towns guy, you know, underling for the witch lady, and she, like, has him do her wet work that... whatever. But he's not actually a bad guy or anything. And she's got him under, you know, bullshit well, yeah, like, and whatnot. That's, what, what I'm saying is, whatever he is, I I don't think... Like, like that that scene in the credits where, where he catches Monica opening yeah. the basement door. Yeah. It's set up like, oh no, he's got her, and there's going to be a fight or something next episode. I don't think there's going to be a fight. I no, think I that's don't like a little bit of a fake out, and that he'll be like, so what are you up to? Can I snoop too? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be, or he could just be like, uh, hey, I'm going to stop you, I guess. But he's just yeah, a dude, and then she and then she he's smacks gonna, him. He's, he's evil, and he's gonna try and capture her. But then, fucking obviously, she's got powers and shit now. She can just smack him, and he goes to sleep again. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if we'll see her like do photon shit. I don't know what photon's powers are. What are her powers exactly? Uh, photon can like absorb light and energy, and and shoot it, and turn her whole body into light. Uh huh. Okay. Like like anything that has to do with like light pretty much. Energy waves, the electromagnetic spectrum, she had uh she's, all of that. She's bright. <laughs> okay. Alright. That's cool. Yeah. God. They do need to show that dude though. That guy, Which her dude? guy, her guy that we haven't met yet. Yeah, like, I mean, Nightmare of or do you think? Do you think Ralph is even a real person? I mean, I would hope so. I hope. I hope we see a Ralph. I hope we finally see someone named Ralph, and it's like, this is Ralph, but his real name is Mephisto. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's what I want to see. <laughs> it's so weird. I don't know how this thing's gonna wrap up with how they're. Just, I don't know. Yeah, right. Like the the keep it be guessing, which it, is impressive. It's not utterly predictable. And like I've seen so many like fake leaks and theories and guesses on the internet that are all radically different from each other. Yeah, and yeah. they're all equally like fifty percent plausible, fifty percent bullshit. I feel like it's every week there's, there's been a like, thing. Succeed at a mystery like not getting spoiled or being obvious to guess. <laughs> uh, if it's like every week there's like a one leaked bullshit for the next one or whatever it's like sure dude yeah, yeah. uh-huh this is totally the thing you guys tapped it uh, <laughs> at this point I don't even know how confident I am that there's gonna be a mephisto that M- 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 mephisto's gonna show up or yeah it could it could really be like like I said mephisto might not even show up but I just want like a name drop like I like Agatha serves the devil because that's what witches yeah. do. Yeah. That could that like whatever her plan here is, like maybe she's planning to feed the children to the devil. And yeah. she's stopped so you don't ever see the devil, maybe. That's enough, yeah. But just fucking say it. Just yeah. fucking say his name. <laughs> Cuz there's been way too many devil references not to. And I I mean, obviously they're not it's not a situation where they're afraid to fucking go that handy like oh they don't want to actually say Mephisto it's like no it's fine they'll say it if they want to they did fucking Dormammu in the first Doctor Strange movie <laughs> it's like we're not waiting it's fine yeah, fuck it Mephisto's I mean, down there we don't care we're gonna talk about him all day if we want uh, and, and people are like oh you can't you can't talk about the devil <laughs> China banned supernatural things come on let man. me let me tell you guys something boy China already doesn't get Disney Plus do they not get Disney Plus? 
Wow, I did not know they didn't they didn't get Disney Plus. Disney Plus is currently not available in China. They can do whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> Why? Well, well, what did China? Why don't they have it? They not want no, it. No, it's just because it's not available in some countries yet. You know that okay. when you start a streaming service, it takes a while right. to get into various markets. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of localization credits after this show like every time a fucking ton of them it's true this like most of the credits is translation uh i think that's part of the reason why that that's that's so surprising uh there's a lot of dub work shit yeah yeah being done which i mean whatever if it's not I mean, i'm sure it's gonna make it there if it's not there already but no i china has a thing against the devil well, China um, bans a lot of, like, references in movies to religion and the supernatural. Huh. There's I, did not, a, there's, I didn't know There's that. a weird political reason for it. I don't know all the details to, like, go into it, but it's... I knew their deal with, like, blood, it's like, a violent stuff. Thing, but at the same time, uh, movies can get around that, like... Hellboy and Ghost Rider have come out in China before. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, okay, there's clearly ways then. Uh, I don't know. What do we have? It's two like, left? Like, the thing of it is, like, China has a policy that they only approve a specific quota, like, uh-huh. a certain number of movies from outside China per year. They have a quota? Yeah, like they have, like, because their culture is like super fascist, and they don't want like outside influence on their. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So, so they're like, we'll only have ten movies from America allowed to be shown in our country this year, okay. and so you're like competing. That adds up. And so, like, this movie has ghosts in it; it moves to the bottom of the list. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This year, he looks like Resident Evil Seven. <laughs> I, I, I'm really interested to know what we got going down here. It's so funny, fucking to me, that there's just like this very, like, Disney fairy tale witch shit down here in her basement, just like yeah, straight up. Yeah, this is uh, they, they they went they went with all the tropes. <laughs> they did, and and they didn't hesitate. They fucking went full in here, and I, I don't know. I think there's a shot. What's like I've seen? I'm looking at this fucking thing I've, back there. I don't even know what that shit is. It's mostly skulls. It looks like. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, that adds up. They're they're lit so pretty. You would think that you want to look at them. Hmm. That's a that's a that's a pretty magical book just to be glowing all the time sitting there. It seems like a book of significance. Okay, so on that on that pillar, you can't. It's off. Can't. No wait. The the one the one right to her right. To, to her our right. right. To our uh, right. That. And now it's now the one on her left. You can see it too. The yeah. pillar has like the devil's face on it. It does. That is. Uh... That's literally Satan right there. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, look, no, I, I want to see that shit. I want them to do it, because that sounds interesting as fuck and enjoyable. Do it. Just go the whole fucking thing here, but I don't know what the angle is, and I don't know what they're wanting to... Because we know that she's going to be in Doctor Strange, right? She's, like, they're setting up for that thing. That's so they're... Yeah, yeah. Well, they're going to position so her at the end of this. What I think is going to end up happening is, like... I think Agatha might succeed at, like, feeding the kids Mephisto or whatever, and so Wanda ends this show, like, trying to jump dimensions to get her kids back. And in Doctor Strange 2, he helps Wanda get her kids back so that her kids can be in the Young Avengers. Hmm. That might be how it all connects. That's just that's just off the top of yeah, my head. I mean, it's, it's plausible. Out, like, something that would be comics adjacent. It's 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 almost like I don't know. It's even harder to kind of think about right now because there's just two episodes left, and there being only two episodes left, it's like 
we got this one string here, this other string here, and it's like, these, these are going to add up. Just what the fuck is going to connect these two? They're really almost there. But it makes right, it harder. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, this show is good at keeping you guessing. Like, it's... Uh, the mystery has not yet been solved. <laughs> and and <laughs> not is, in, like, arbitrary, it, shitty ways. It's it's not predictable. No. It hasn't been spoiled by the internet. <laughs> it's still interesting all the way up to the end. Yeah, it's not, it's not <laughs> like... It, it's not a head-scratchy thing like fucking Lost or some shit, and it's just bullshit. No, no, it's definitely not one of those. No, like, it's Lost not. is like when, when they just come up with, like, Things that seem mysterious, and then they have no plan for what the ending is. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not what this situation is. Um, which makes it, and it's also nice because there's a definitive ending. Like a lot, I've seen yeah. a lot of people talking about, like, oh, they do a season two. Like, mm. I don't, I don't know how you do a season two. The sitcom thing has yeah. run its course. <laughs> I don't know how that would, how that would work. That doesn't seem to be. The Disney Plus like, how, Marvel how many, plan. How many times can you bring the vision back? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that they'll do it as many times as it takes, but... Because the show is called WandaVision, <laughs> which is both a reference to the characters being named Wanda and the Vision, and it, a reference to TV. It is. Like, like Darcy literally says in the dialogue, I've been watching WandaVision all week. Like, that's what the show is called in-universe, too. So once the hex is down and there's no more show, quote unquote, there's no more WandaVision. You can't really also, call season two if there were one WandaVision. <laughs> uh, and it's not like, boo! I would not want another season of WandaVision. This is not really how this works. No, I th I think I think these Disney Plus shows. Like we're calling them TV shows, but the more accurate term is mini series. Yeah, it is. I think these are all one and dones. Because I mean, even Falcon and Winter Soldier. However, it ends. Falcon's going to become Captain America. So, shouldn't if there were a season two, shouldn't it be called Captain America and Winter Soldier? <laughs> you, would, I mean, one would assume, but that's kind of the thing. The they really are more like, like mini runs or something like from a comic or something yeah. or something like that it's not it's, it's on yeah, TV they, they, are, they are mini series they are they TV are. mini series they're not TV shows they're not um, going to have seasons and I at mean, least most of them are they could they could some of them like She-Hulk for all I know could be like a multi-season like because it's going to be Green Alley McBeal right yeah it sounds and that's that way. what it should be because that's yeah. She-Hulk is yeah <laughs> Uh, I mean, and these characters could pop back up, and they could do another. There could be another yeah, mini series, like they could have a different premise and call it something different, but have yeah. the same characters. It wouldn't be one division season two. Uh, <laughs> although a prequel series called Agatha All Along wouldn't be awful. I, I'd watch it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm kind of in after that theme song. That that theme song has sold me. I'm I'm already in. I'm I'm I'm, I'm cool with that. I mean, that would be tight. Whatever you want to do, more more Agatha. In if general, she pops up in Doctor Strange, <laughs> I'm 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 okay with that. Yeah, I, mm. I hope I hope that she gets to like retreat into a portal to the multiverse. And not like just die at the end of episode nine. <laughs> she does. She does a Loki. Yeah, that's uh, that would be ideal. I don't think that they'll kill her. I don't think that she. No, I don't think I it's going to be one of those situations. It, it would be a waste because she's great. Yeah, I I don't want another situation like what is that guy's name? Uh, Mads Mikkelsen becoming a mindless one. Uh, don't don't do that with this chick. I mean, Mads Mikkelsen could play a, a one-eyed zombie that has no dialogue and does nothing interesting in Doctor Strange. <laughs> uh, you know, that's not what I want for her, though. <laughs> no, <laughs> I no. Mm, ye maybe they should have they should have saved Mads Mikkelsen for Doctor Doom they should have <laughs> I think everyone feels feels like that I, and I I wouldn't be terribly surprised if like I feel like if that's something that 
like say Kevin Feige was really into that idea, they probably would just do it. Speaking of Doctor Doom, we better uh, see uh, Monica's aerospace guy. That's what I was talking about. Soon. Like, <laughs> I, 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 it feels like a, a bait and switch. It feels like okay, there's this guy, and then she's talking to this other lady who was like a. What, yeah, that lady was clearly not her guy because. No. <laughs> Because lots of reasons. There's a lot of reasons why that. I, that wasn't that person guy. didn't even seem like an aerospace person. It just seemed like I'm I'm a sword agent here to deliver your your uh, jeep or whatever. Yeah, she was just your, towing your that fucking rover. thing in here. Uh, I. Pfft. I don't know. Like, the the mystery aerospace engineer has has yet to appear on screen. And That's they, all I'm saying. No, yeah, he hasn't, and. If they just stop mentioning that, <laughs> if they just don't bring it up again, uh, yeah, that would be weird. Wouldn't that it? would be weird. Like that would feel like some lost shit. Uh, <laughs> that's that's not how we should do things. And I'm going to give them the benefit of that. I hope that's not the case. Because uh, I mean, at some point they got to start talking about that shit, right? Yeah, come yeah. on. They already announced it. There's a Fantastic Four movie. Like that's the we know it's coming. Yeah, it's happening. It's there. That fucking building is still sitting there in New York. It's probably going to be significant. True. Tony sold his tower, and we don't know to who. He did years and years and years ago, but it's still there. Yeah, Spider-Man Homecoming was a long time ago now. Mm-hmm. It was a long time ago in the real world, and it was a long time ago plus five, plus five. in the Marvel Universe. Yeah, it's been... Uh... Because of the fucking blip, man. I need to get this shit together. Okay, we got two more episodes. Is that right? Yes, two to go. Okay. Uh, yeah, I hope they're juicy. I think that we covered I'm this one. Forward. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Do you think, do you think we covered this now one? Now we're getting to the good stuff, right? Now we're we getting are, to, well, like, it's all down to the yeah. revealing of mysteries and the big action scenes and the climax. It's, it's the juicy. <laughs> it's uh, juicy, but it's harder to talk about because I don't know what's going to go on. I don't know what plot threads to follow, but man, these this fucking <laughs> these vines look good though. So, GG. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Okay, it's it, they're, they're having a lot of fun, and this shit's fun. Yeah, this dungeon are, place is fun. These are these are uh, swampy vines from the Nexus. These are uh, these are man thing vines. Yeah, because you're not the center of the universe, or are you? <laughs> <laughs> Or are you? You're probably right. Hmm. That ad. When we when we finally get a man thing in the MCU, let me let me ask you this. Uh-huh. Do you think he'll be a regular size man thing mm-hmm. or a giant size man thing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Marvel GG's. Comics. Published a book titled <laughs> "Giant Size Man." Explain, man explain thing. it. <laughs> okay, you can explain it. That's fine. Are those I unaware? Just, I had to reiterate okay. because it's it never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> this is a thing that happened decades ago. They can't undo it. <laughs> but that's what's fun because the people that already did it, they did it, and whatever. And we've got to grow up with all the people that are like, "This is a thing." <laughs> Giant Size Man thing was a thing. <laughs> so. The people that worked on this I, shit. Yeah, I get the convention of like those giant size X Men. That's the thing, you know. They call it giant size <laughs> such and such when they, you know, it was like yeah, they did more pages than a usual issue, right? Uh, which also was but, a big switch. But when your character is called Man Thing, <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that was the deal. Maybe that's why he was the champion on Sakar. because he was. I'm just, uh, I'm massive. just saying. Stanley got away with some things. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I no, that one passed the comic code. Uh, no one was fucking reading that shit. He was doing whatever he wanted. But <laughs> was it like the comics code wasn't around then? Was it or was it? I believe it was. I think okay. the comics code started in the fifties. Well, listen. Anytime the Congress Code caught anything, they had to like write in the letter, and nothing got done until like 
<laughs> fucking half a year. Yeah, it turns out you can just ignore that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just don't... If you want to have stuff the Comics Code doesn't approve of in your comic, just don't put the Comics Code label on the cover of your comic and you're good. You're fine. Yeah, listen, we never it's fucking not like said. the government is enforcing it. It's not like the MPAA, but... No, it's... it's uh. It was literally... The Comics Code was literally a private organization that they came up with to prevent the government from making one. It's like, it was like, no, don't worry, guys, we can police ourselves. Uh-huh. And then and then we got to the 80s and 90s, and they were just like, okay, we're the cops. we've done this long enough, <laughs> we can just stop. <laughs> uh, well done. Well done. It was it was uh it's fucking rabbit. Well played. It's fucking rabbit, dude. Is this I, Rabbit Ralph? No, this, the rabbit's name is Mr. Scratchy. We've been over this. No, dude, but he, it could have been <laughs> Ralph. Could, she turned could him the into the rabbit has been Ralph. It's possible. She turned him into a rabbit. That. Uh, I don't know who that rabbit is. All I know is that it's a cute rabbit. I like bunnies. Okay. Uh, no, listen, that's fine. I I, I, ha I have a a soft chewy center in my cold dead heart. Okay, well, listen. for bunny rabbits, <laughs> you can have the rabbit. You can have it. You can have the rabbit. I am just going to fucking frame this as there's some human that's in that rabbit right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and he's thinking about shit like fuck. I can't, I can't shoot that theory down. It's perfectly valid. It's, I'm, I mean, it seems, it seems fun. It's highly plausible. She's a witch. Witches turn people into animals. It's a thing. <laughs> and she lent the rabbit to them for that magic show. Yeah, back in yeah. the other thing and it's fun because uh, what if that was a person and not a rabbit even though he didn't pull it out of anything the weird drunk vision who wasn't actually drunk <laughs> uh, that was a fun episode um, I, I, I enjoyed I, I, I rather liked the uh, the cartoon x-ray of the gum in his <laughs> ears <laughs> this is uh, a real time Look inside the inner workings of the vision. Incredibly accurate <laughs> recreation of what vision looks like. On the it, it's to scale. They had a camera in there. Uh, I, I believe <laughs> that it is a one to one. That, that you could build your own vision from that technical manual they put up on the screen. And more so, they showed a extremely effective weakness the vision has. It could be exploited by all kinds of villains. I, I'm not entirely certain that chewing gum would depower him and make him drunk outside of the sitcom world's physics. Well, <laughs> that's one of the things that I'm sure magic... Magic. <laughs> Sword... Not magic. <laughs> There's another group out there called magic. It stands for com something completely different. Sword was you know that whatever. Right, right. Figure out that acronym. <laughs> I'll figure it out. There's a initialism for something. God damn it. Listen. Uh, we, we we covered it. We did it. Right. We right. did it. Um, I'm going to Django and the Agents of Magic have solved the case. <laughs> Dude, it sounds tight. Like I don't even. <laughs> Surely there's a magic company out there somewhere with that acronym. Well, as far as I know, that's one that Marvel doesn't have, so... Well, the trademark isn't taken. You can jump on that if you want. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> open the tab and leave that open. I'll look into that in a little bit. This was good. I think, hopefully I can get this episode up sooner, because I think I've found how to do this well, where, Disney, where YouTube won't pitch a fit. Let's hope. I was so surprised because I went and looked at it just the other day and like, that last episode totally cool. Monetization's going on. All that stuff. Which is more than I, yeah. you could say for I, I the... I think you'd, ha you'd have some trouble getting it to work mm -hmm. but you found a solution I, that the, seems to have done the job. That uh, that trailer reaction I did, that's not at, that's no, no, no monetizing that. They were like, no. 
You can't monetize that. <laughs> of course not. No. But this, they're totally fine with it. It's like, okay. Well, you have you have obscured the footage more than <laughs> enough, I should hope. I really hope I can obscure it less. I really... It was really not good. I mean, it worked, <laughs> but... Uh, I mean, I, I feel like anybody listening to this has seen the episode. Well, like, right. I don't want to be the way that you watch WandaVision. No, it's <laughs> because just, it you're going to be. miss a lot of it. We're yeah, this is not like all the dialogue because we're talking over it. Th- that's the that's the reason I don't put like spoiler warning up front. Was I'm like, you should know. Like, this isn't how you should be experiencing this first. Come no. On. There's there's better no, ways we, to go about the, this. There is no intention on our part to uh, actually be the means by which you could pirate the show. <laughs> uh, boy, no, you shouldn't <laughs> do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, the, the 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 video is there mostly just so you know for sure where we are. Yeah, and I, even distorted, you can kind of tell that I think, but. It's going to be better. It's going to be better. All right, well. It's going to be better. I, I think we covered everything this episode. I like think, I said, I was, I was surprised they didn't reveal everything already. Yeah, I really thought... It's really weird. I would have thought there would be more reveals that, you know, to talk about and to go into and to, like stuff to carry things on, but I th- there's not. But it's not bad. Yeah, like more to talk about next episode, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I guess so. But I mean, like, that's a, that's a, a that's not a unpre- an unimpressive feat that the questions mostly still kept coming, and there were more of them. And the answers were few. But it doesn't feel cheap or like they're stretching yeah it doesn't feel like filler either no no it doesn't feel like filler i mean how could it with that agatha song like i i felt i felt that the first episode or two was a a slow start to the series yeah like i wasn't i wasn't super enthralled with the uh the the i love lucy recreation the the 50s theme and the 60s theme um which was bewitched, I, don't, I suppose. Yeah. But once it got going, I I've been I've been uh, hooked. I've been at the on the edge of my seat, as they say. <laughs> I, I mean, ideal as you should be. Whenever you have a show that's not like doing the, we have to hit this quota of episodes. Like whenever that's not a thing, then. That should also be good. like with with the the episodes being so short. It's like, it's a painful wait. It's like I need more. It, yeah, Give that's me more. <laughs> it's it's uh, especially after Netflix and just being able to binge shit. When it, seeing yeah, this like show, Netflix like, boy. is, is uh, always like that's the other thing. This is a nine, nine episodes is nice and lean. Like a net a Netflix season, it'll if you want to binge it, it'll take you like a day and a half without sleep. Yeah. And mm-hmm. most of it will be fucking filler. Like I, that's my biggest problem with like Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist. Is that this the entire middle of every season just drags and drags and drags? It it's just it takes forever to get to the fucking point. It's a thing. <laughs> how many episodes were they? I don't remember how long those those seasons were. Uh if if I was to guess. Uh, top of my head. I was 15-ish? Was it 15-ish? I'm, I'm probably way off with that. I, I, you know what? I can look it up. I have the well, internet. <laughs> I mean... Okay, their, their seasons are usually about 13. 13. That's right. Yeah, the Netflix shows are usually about 13, and I feel like th- they could have been like 8. Yeah, they, they could have. They could have tightened up a little bit. But I mean, like, it's a lot better than having to do what, like a 24-episode season, especially if something like this, which is like a 20-minute a show, 23-minute show, uh, like WandaVision here. Just putting that on, doing like a whole, like, network, fucking, like, boy. <sighs> Just crank that shit out, no. That's, that, that's, 
good and ideally it should do like you said it keeps you engaged it keeps you hooked it, it keeps uh yeah. the the mandalorian is the same way like their seasons are about eight episodes yeah and they're like i was gonna say an hour long but actually mandalorian episodes don't have a set length they, they just they go vary. as long as they need to go yeah <laughs> They do. Like, sometimes it's 30 minutes, sometimes it's 45, it's all over the place. Which is fine. They, That's it's cool, the too. the length they need to, to tell the story. And there's... Like, some people have complained that The Mandalorian has quote-unquote filler in it, but I strongly disagree with that. I think that The Mandalorian is an episodic show. Yeah. And, like, those, those episodes that you think are filler are actually just slice of life because that's like the theme of that show yeah it's a about is the the rando adventures that mando goes on i've seen a lot of people mention that complain about it like oh he has to go on fucking fetch quest all the time and like all this other like side mission type feeling shit but it's like well yeah but mandalorian isn't really about like like it has a main plot yes it's, uh, from week to week, he he's, gets more he's jobs. A bounty hunter. He's got to he's got to pay the bills. Yeah, like, and he gets jobs. He goes and does the jobs, and sometimes he finds weird little Yoda kids, and they stick around for a while. Yeah, and then they leave. Uh. <laughs> but uh, but speaking of filler and being short and sweet, that's we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. We we tend to we tend to ramble. We're long winded. Especially me. <laughs> Come on. No, I mean... I think I'm, I'm, like, apologizing for it, but everybody knows. It's my fucking brand. <laughs> I mean, it is... Yeah, I mean, dude, we're... we're the, the podcasts. This isn't a podcast. This nobody. channel has a video. I mean, this video has a video. <sighs> you know what I fucking video is mainly for reference. It's still a podcast. <laughs> this is the closest thing that we've done to not having a podcast on the channel. It's almost a video. <laughs> But it's still a podcast, and so people's listening to it. If you're, if you get fucking tired of babbling, whatever, that's all that's on the channel, right? That's the whole. Every every once in a while, we get people who are like, "You got you guys, your episodes are too long," and I'm like, "We're not, we're not making them for you, I guess." Sorry. I mean, <laughs> but we we have we have a lot of people who are like, "Dude, I love I love that I can just like put this on while I'm at work." Yeah, and have something to listen to at work for Eight hours, hours later. And not be bored. <laughs> those those are the people that I make that I talk forever for. This... Really, I thought you were talking forever for yourself. <laughs> I thought it was for your benefit. Because I know it's definitely I talk forever because it's my benefit. Those <laughs> the, the, those people are just like lucky because they get to benefit too. I, I guess I guess you're right. I I talk forever for my benefit. There you go. and it's just fortunate that other people enjoy it too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's just as good. That's that's you know, whatever. But yeah. if you but if it's, that's not it's not it's not what you're into. If you think the episode should be shorter, just push stop whenever, and that's the end of the episode. It can be whatever that's length true. you that's want. True. The episode is is over when you hit the button. <laughs> it's it's really quite amazing. I don't know like what like. <laughs> As as the person <laughs> listening to this on YouTube, you have power over us. <laughs> you can just it, it stop. You, you can. Like I don't know why it's like, man, I wanna know what else you said. I'm grumpy. You have control over your own life. <laughs> like you said you went on for another two hours more than I wanted to listen to, but I wanna know what you said for those two hours. I just want it in a condensed form, but <laughs> what do you want? Like if you if it was shorter I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's set weird. it to two times speed and try to make sense of the Elven and the Chipmunks version of us. Well, listen, have fun with that. <laughs> or just, you know, get real problems. I'm like, I'm ready to wrap this up and then I go on for another 30 minutes. <laughs> they always do. <laughs> I like you your version. Everybody. I don't like the thing that I do. So often I do the thing where I'm like, you know what? This was a good episode. <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. it's like, wait, don't start to talk back at the end of your episode for your own episode. We could take show notes later. Uh, it's really an, 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 an odd thing. 
I'm, gonna, I'm trying to break that habit. I'm so, pleased with myself and I'm what pleased. I did today. I think that was good. Hmm. I'm going to give myself <laughs> notes. I was I was just reminded of a bit from Futurama. Oh the shit! Fucking um, the Star Trek cast was on, and um, it it was uh, Nimoy was giving them advice about something. He's like, and I got such a great performance out of Bill because I respected him so much. And then Shatner goes, I, and in Star Trek Five, I got such a great performance out of me because I respect <laughs> me so much. <laughs> uh, listen, that's important. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that's. Uh, I'm glad someone else knows how I feel. <laughs> I'm not alone in the universe. That that makes me feel. Man, that's cathartic. I can, I'm going to use that. Um. That's the end of the episode. Good night, everybody. Bye, everyone. <laughs> See you next week. So is mine.